the formidable robot. I know for a fact that everyone had seen the Pink Panther. If you haven't, I'd say it's time you begin watching it for yourself. But there is a catch. I didn't suspect that the Pink Panther would have a grisly secret behind the comedic antics. I should have suspected that the Pink Panther would have caused so much damage to anyone's psyche. What am I getting at, you may ask? Well, not a lot. But what I am getting at is that there is an origin behind the Pink Panther and how the cartoon became so popular over the years. And yes, this is Lost Episode related. But there is a point to it, and we'll get to it later. It was around 1997, so I don't remember much about the incident. I was very young and reckless, and was very popular in school. My dad decided that since I had straight A's, he might buy me a Pink Panther DVD collection. I was a fan of Pink Panther, so I got hyped. When we got back, I went to my bedroom, popped the DVD in my DVD player, and watched it in front of the TV. It wasn't what I was expecting. The Pink Panther didn't even look like a panther. The ears were large and cat-like, his pink fur looked like real wrinkly skin, his teeth gnarled. His eyes were tinted red as if he had pink eye in both eyes. Even his claws looked as if they were meat hooks. He looked at me with a hungry twisted devilish grin. And insulted me with an outstretched inhuman hand. It was almost as if he can reach through my TV screen. I gasped and panicked as he did so. The videos were indescribable. I saw a boy being strangled by a bristle of thorns, I saw a clown dancing in a dark room, I saw an extreme close-up of a praying mantis, I even saw a man put a shotgun in his mouth and pulling the trigger, blood splattered all over the screen. I screamed and ran to my dad who heard my cries, and begged him to turn it off. As he stepped in my room, he was pale as a corpse. After turning the TV off, he called the company, United Artists, and threatened to sue them for damages. But I couldn't understand what was going on, I was only 10 at the time. And I couldn't hear the person my dad was talking to, but something made my dad go on the computer and search for the brother of the creator of the Pink Panther, Blake Edwards, who I will not mention the name of the brother for obvious reasons. The brother of Blake Edwards was in fact a devil worshipper, who cursed people with multiple incidents, like car crashes or domestic pets being possessed by evil spirits and turn into cannibals. My dad got a hold of Blake Edwards' email and wrote him a letter about his brother. Soon enough, Blake Edwards emailed us back saying, He is not my brother in any way. Well, I do have a stepbrother I never met, but he does not worship any demon or devil in any way. What you're talking about is that sick bastard who keeps saying that he is my brother, he's not my brother. He's just a crazy stalker. He keeps saying that because he is trying to get back at me for turning him in with the police. While he was being arrested for stalking me, he kept chanting some weird shit like, Hell's language or something. I thought he was drunk. But I was wrong. Dead wrong. This asshole had summoned a monstrous demon, and said to me before he was sent to an insane asylum, Floris will kill you. For many years, I haven't mentioned about the incident to anyone. It may be all over the news, but it hasn't been better for me. He also said on national television that whenever I draw the Pink Panther, the blood of the wicked will seep inside the lines of the drawing, every component of ink inside that Pink Panther character, and who will watch the Pink Panther would become demonically possessed zombies. I'm deeply sorry. I wish I could fix this, but I can't. I'm sorry. With warm regards, Blake Edwards, the creator of the Pink Panther, for years, I wish I haven't been a fan of the Pink Panther. For I knew that lovable child-friendly character was a disgusting sadistic insidious monster all these years. All of the children who watched the cartoon became possessed by other demons and devils afterwards, making their brains rot and decay in an unstoppable rate. Then parents say that their children rambled about things in some otherworldly language, and it's not like I am 666 or something like that. Not even police could understand what the children were saying. Every day, I became more fearful of what would happen next. The children would look through my bedroom window at night, staring at me while I slept with a look that will send anyone into a fit of fear. I would shut the blinds and try to get some sleep. 
but I know they're still there, I could hear them still moaning like the wails of the damned. Whatever that sick bastard did to Blake Edwards' creation, it left a mark. More like the mark of the beast, cause whatever he did, it would cost many young souls to be lost forever. Lost in a spiritual world of madness, and pain. The DVD, it's still there. But I locked it inside a chest in the basement, where it will be lost forever. I never watched it. Never will. Many people watched the normal Pink Panther from the normal show. And that's the thing anyway, the Pink Panther can be normal. It will trick you into thinking it's just a picture on paper. Then, stalk you, day, and night.